Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your Easy and Chivas podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Seeing me across from me, as always, is my illustrious co-host, Alex. Illustrious? That's a new one. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know. I like I like change. You like change? Yeah. I, Alex, I love change. <laughs> I love change. Can't can't get enough of it. Yeah. Um, but you know what hasn't changed? What hasn't changed? Our podcast. Oh, every no. week, it comes out every Friday. If you want it early, guess what? You straight up can. Hold over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us the five bucks if you want it early. Give us the dollar. To get an exclusive every single month. Um, couple of notes here, Alex. Um, we need the audience help. Head over to anything you listen to this on, even if you don't listen on it. Give us the subscriptions on the YouTubes. Give us the five stars on the Androids. Um, I think we talked about this. Five Androids is as high as you can go. Um, and five half-bitten apples is as high as you can go on Apple. Half so just give apples. us half-bitten apples, a couple droids, um, a complete sidebar that will completely derail this episode, Alex. Do you remember droids, the phone? Oh yeah, the, are those yeah. still a thing? Uh, yes. I saw one the other day. Yeah, and my friend Tim used to always have a droid. That was yeah. his thing, droids. Yeah, more. It's by uh, Motorola. It, so they're still yeah, they're popular. Uh, yeah, there's. Uh, uh, I feel like all they're I not do. as popular, but it's still the biggest thing. So there's you know there's Apple, uh huh, then there's Samsung, right? Galaxies, right? Galaxies, yes, and then of course. Notes. And then, the, well, that's part of Samsung, right? Yeah. So they're the brand, and then there's LG, which I don't know how big they are compared to Google, because Google, and then and there's LG and Google, and then there's Motorola. Okay, I because Motorola, that. the next one is the Motorola had the one with, it had the the back of the phone you can connect like mods to it. It had like the projector. And had a bunch of different mod and like a camera I remember mod seeing to that. it. Yeah, and even as a child, being like, "There's no way." My wife had one of them, had one of the phones, and mm-hmm. I, had, she didn't keep the phone long enough to even I couldn't even get her a mod because mm-hmm. I thought about getting her the the camera one, but I couldn't. It, like the phone, I guess, was an older model, and the Bluetooth didn't even work on the phone, and it, she hated it. I hated it for that reason, and so they had some other issues too. So I was like, you know what? You're just getting a new phone. You're finally upgrading. That's good. Yeah, and I, I've always been with iPhones. Yeah. I've never really messed with anything else. But if I had to yeah. go, it would be between the the Pixel phone mm-hmm. and then I, uh, the the Galaxy Note. My I, I would I call I, I'm a Pixel household. My okay. wife and I have Pixels. Oh, both of you have yes. Pixels. I didn't know she uh, she had a Pixel. Yeah, I have the two XL, and then when she upgraded, she got the three A mm. XL. So hers is better. Yeah, and it's weird because it's newer. And if you knew this. If you have a better phone, you're all making better than the person you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> and it's weird because she, she has the newer mo- version, but it's like, you know how iPhone had the 5C? Yes. It's like, that's the that's, that's the that 5C the... version of that, of like, like, you know, there's 5, 5S, but then there's 5C. Yes. The Google, uh, Pixel 3, and then right. there was the 3, and then I think there, there was a 3A, 3A plus or three or whatever it is x or the xl 3a xl and then there's just the the norm they're just the number one just the number one is supposed to be better the 3a is the cheat is the like the 5c we're just it's, and it's weird so because the three doesn't have a headphone jack mine doesn't have a headphone jack mine doesn't either her 3a does and I was like, "All right, okay." Because it's, so it's like, because I guess it's just no, it's just weird because it's a newer phone, but it still has a headphone jack. Mm-hmm. And it's just weird, but it—I mean, it runs great. I remember when the Apple said there wasn't going to be a headphone jack, and I was like, ah, "You guys are Everybody annoying." Hated and, it. and then, and then you just get forced into the future. Yeah. Is is what I like to say. I have no headphone jack. And um, I mean, I similarly just, to yeah. the new, <laughs> similar to the new Xboxes. Mm-hmm. You know what? Let's finish this because okay. I have a important question to ask okay. you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget, though. I know you have money. <laughs> All right? Let's just get to the chase. I know you have money. I want it. Do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Very kidding. Very forceful, <laughs> if man. You, if you want to support us, as always, it is much appreciated. That helps us with the podcast. That helps us keep growing. That helps us keep doing this. We want to do this for you, so help us out and keep it going um like i said every friday uh that's for all the freeloaders that don't want to give us the buck we understand go over to um youtube uh we'll see we're on youtube uh apple google play stitcher mm-hmm. spotify spotify yeah. basically all the good places yeah if you have some garbage jump of whatever you get your uh, podcast from get yep. us up we'll get on there yep um alex mm. i have an important question to ask but before we get into that yep i have a big Big issue with something. What? What's, what's your big issue? What's man? going on 
with this new Xbox. And oh, we saw man. the ports, right? Okay. We saw the ports. And see the... And I feel like I wanted to get the... I want to hit this on the head because we have a, a pretty stacked show. So I want to I want to hit this for a little part, but I'm okay. so confused. So I'm sure... And if you haven't, look up the Xbox One X. They gave you like a swoop view mm-hmm. and they showed off all the ports. I'm going to bring it up as well just now, so I can have a... The thing with that... The thing. Is, is this the thing that was at CES? Yes. And because remember I thought, they, I, I thought they said that that, that it's not an actual... Like the ports in the back, they were just used some like that's not the actual ports that it's gonna be on there. Oof, I I didn't see that. I thought anymore. there was something to where like they they said that they um that they that's no those aren't for sure those aren't for sure the actual ports are gonna be on there. Which if they are, I mean, and, uh, I, mean I, don't I don't see know. why they wouldn't, right? Yeah, I just I could have swore I had seen something about it. Let oh me god. see. Oh god. Um. Because they still have the HDMI pass through that we saw. Because they yeah. released that GIF. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Oh God. Hold on. Here we go. Is this what it is? AMD falsely reveals Xbox Series there X you go. ports at CES 2020. What? There you go. Well, it That's what I Microsoft had. Microsoft was ready to unveil the full Series X port lineup. AMD has some explaining yeah, to do. Yeah. Used fake. Yep. AMD has showcased the first glimpse at Xbox Series X uh, rear ports detailing USB C connectivity, ETM pass through Ethernet, SPDIF, digital audio, and more. AMD has since debunked the accuracy of the Series X assets, claiming a stock 3D model was purchased from TurboSquid.com. <laughs> Dude, you can't make that up. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make that up. They bought. A stock 3D model from TurboSquid.com. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. it, was there a version of this that? Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. This is where I saw, um, like like the the picture that they have. This mm-hmm. is what I saw. I guess this is fake. Yeah. However, Microsoft made an effort to obstruct the system ports and dimensions, only featuring a single forward-facing USB Type A port akin to the existing One X and One S systems. AMD's opening scissor was has now provided a fresh angle at Series X, confirming the final ports list of the next generation. Um, so yeah, and USB it's kind of wishy A ports so, is just a regular USB. Yeah, the, in yeah. the front. Yeah, I'm very confused because it does immediately. Um, a single, yeah. Yeah, so we There's just know about the front one. So port. apparently the back ones are still whatever, but <clears> I <throat> heard that most of this is accurate. We know that the pass through is right. We know that the power cable's right. We know that the Ethernet's right. And we know that the digital audio is right. Yeah. The only question is the Type C, which I'm pretty sure is real. Um, I can't see that anymore. Well, I'm reading something from BGR.com. Okay. And uh, it seems like it's a tech thing. This is from Chris Smith. And he was saying. I was able to confirm with several insiders about the actual ports on the currently early iterations of the hardware. Wrote uh, Brad Tams over at uh, Thurot. I don't know what that place is. Yeah, Thurot. I've okay. heard of them. As it stands right now, the Series X features on the back of the hardware two USB A ports of the super speed variety, an Ethernet, a single HDMI port, an optical audio, and a power connector connection. Interesting. And that's it. Okay. It says uh, there might be another port in the back of the console for debugging. All of the rear-facing ports in the lower half of the box I've seen in the schematic below, flanking them, all. and opening opening for air intakes. There, cause, yeah, there's like a little thing back. There's like a little picture, and it shows like these little vents and stuff. See, and that's, oh, that's wild. Okay, yeah. So and that's, that's, so that, so that's what, yeah. So that would be the back of it. Is this stock or is this like what he would write out? Like, did he write that out or is he like detailing what they would look like? Um, is that what that is? Uh, let me see. It's uh, because I did hear. I thought it says I, that scene in the schematic below. So I don't know where he got okay, the schematic from. Okay, so it doesn't specify. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did hear that they kept the. Um, ports the exact same so it's interesting because we're getting conflicting things now yeah because i saw on twitter that um i don't know if he was actual program lead it was just a passing tweet they Mm -hmm. said they wanted to keep them symmetrical just like they did with the one x Mm -hmm. so you can literally unplug your system and just plug them in the same oh yeah the thing is with um all the other xboxes they've always had two hdmi ports you know one to the tv one to the box this one's only one now it's just is it yeah that's what it said that's what what it said said on this thing it said there's only one hdmi port Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll leave it at that because we don't have concrete yet, of course. Yeah. It's just there's so much going on. There's so much going on. We're getting false information, even straight up 
real companies are giving us fake stuff. Apparently. Yeah. So that's wild. That's why when you said it, I was like, did you not see that article? I did not. I yeah. did not. And, and that's a proof of how dangerous that stuff can be, even though this is a stupid little silly thing. That oh, yeah. No, games. it's just. Uh, but aside from that news being yeah. construed in a way and then you never see the correction. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> see now, <laughs> wild. The, now the thing with the ports. Would you want it to be USB C or regular USB? So I haven't hit that. I haven't hit that future point yet. Yeah, right. I'm not with Type C anything. I, I yeah. don't even know what I would use that for. Exactly. I have my Switch, my Switch controller. Yep. My new Xbox Series Two controller. Controller yeah. is USB C. I'm now done naming everything in my house. And see, I have all of that, including my phone, because I have US. My phone's USB C. You see. I feel like I'm I'm losing it because you know in high school we were always top tech guys. Yeah, yeah. Always talking about this stuff. I yeah. did not know USB C was changing the entire format of U, like the yeah. USB. Yeah. So I didn't think ports in the actual hubs of your mm-hmm. connectors that go into like wall atlas. Yeah. Are also I mean, even be USB-C. Uh, I did wh- not know that. My wife's computer. Uh, she has a USB C port on her computer, and it's weird. Apparently, that's the new hot thing, man. Yeah. And I it's mean, not really new anymore. The I new guess. iPads. USB C. Saw that. Yeah. Very and I, I, I'm wondering if since they did iPads, I wonder if they're going to do the new iPhones. So like I got that. the new AirPod Pros. Yes. They are dual connecting Lightning port and USB C. So you can use either Whoa, one to charge that's it. That's weird. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Um, and both? the cable it gave me yeah. was Lightning on one, USB C on the other. But I don't have any USB C connectors yet. So it doesn't. So, like, so one tip is Lightning, one tip is USB C. There's a lot of plugs, like for the walls. That at that end, instead of, instead of the U, regular USB, USB is USB C. Yeah, I have one okay. for my phone. Okay, yeah. I, I'll have to look one up then. Yeah. But Alex, before we get into the news mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. all that crazy, cute, cute 2020 games we're talking about, I have a burning question to ask. What is it, man? What you been playing? I've been playing, and I want to go back to it. I've been playing a Plague's Tale. Oh. Okay, I I played the first three chapters of that. What yes. are you thinking? Where are you at? Of course, no spoilers. I don't. Yeah, think no. I'm on around chapter five. Okay. Yeah, I'm on chapter five. There, from what I've seen, uh, should I say how many chapters there is? I don't think that's a spoiler. Okay, it's I like seventeen, so. right? Yeah, it's like, like sixteen, seventeen chapters. I don't know if there's. A, it, I don't know if one of them's included in an epilogue or time type of thing. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so I mean, that's what a third. Yeah, about almost. a third. So almost I'm. Probably. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. It looks good. It plays pretty good. I like. It's more. It's a very uh, stealth, stealthy game. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying I did get it. That feeling when I was playing it, it was yeah. uh, intentionally stealth. You don't really fight anything. It gives me. How can I say, the dishonored feeling. <sighs> dishonored mixed with, like that, Last the, like, of Us, because like you, the you stealth have this kind part of, of dishonored, not the like the. So war- I think more of stealth of Last of Us too. Okay, where I'm like kind of guarding Ellie. But at the same time, I'm not because it just falls. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. So yeah, from what we've get, seen, get, um, with, with, yeah. of course, it could get different. But I'm pretty sure this is the game. You just kind of yeah protect this child. And yeah, do whatever um, you do. From what I've seen, it's super cool. Um, yeah, I like this. Fun. I actually like the story so far a lot. Yeah, I like where it's going. I'm curious um, on what that beginning part was. Oof, they put you in that game quick. Yeah, they they just throw you in there. And right now, I'm it's gotten crazier f- with my p- oh, parts of the games. Okay. Yeah, from going from th- from chapter three where you're at, because I remember what happens, right. to now, a lot more stuff has happened. So you're like, all right, and you're like, and like I, it gets a little intense to where you, you know you're like, okay, you have to pay attention. And okay. So I like I'm it. I'm excited. Yeah, I like right. it. I want to go back to it. Um, I've been playing a lot of Sid Meier's of Six that yeah. recently came out on consoles. I didn't pick it up when it launched, only because. I had it on PC, and I was like, I don't need it on Xbox. I mm. also have it on Switch, so I didn't need it on that. So, um, I'll probably games. sell my Switch copy now because I have the Xbox copy. Mm. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I got it on Xbox. Um, uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. Went through a full Civilization run because I couldn't put it down. Played yeah. two straight days. Um, finished one Civ, and I'm roaring to get back up on the expansions, too, for some reason. I don't yeah, know. I, I help downloaded myself. it, but I haven't st- I haven't tried it I'll yet. I'll be interested. I don't think you'll like it, but it, it's, it's I very it a, I just want to give it a try, because I, I couldn't get into Revolution. I just... Yeah, if, Revolution. Re- if Revolutions was uh, boring, this is, like, times 20. Yeah, because isn't like Revolution kind of, like, on the easier side? Yeah. Of it? Yeah. It, and obviously, if you don't put it on the hard difficulties, because oh, if you put it on hard, it's still hard. Uh, yeah. Um, another thing to point out, um, um, Civ really good. Um, port is really good. Surprisingly yeah. from PC to this, 
the all the things you have to do on PC, you would in my mind, I was like, there's no way this is a good port. And I watched a review. I mean, I'm before s- I bought it, yeah. And they said it was very good. Um, oh, and, yeah. I, and, and, and I was still trepidation. I was like, okay, whatever. This is one guy. Maybe maybe I'll have a different story. I play it. Now, I do think it's important to note that I am a seasoned veteran of Civ Six, so I knew what most of the icons were. Mm. Um, but I, but it does give you the option of saying it gives you three tutorial options. Are you new to Civilization? Mm-hmm. Are you new to Civilization Six? Or are you new to uh, this platform? Yeah. And it was very easy because I just got to do That's new platform, and it just yeah. tells me what every button does. Oh, and that wow. was really nice. That's now, cool. everything else, of course, will probably go more and more into it, uh, whichever you pick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that's good. I played Plague's Tale. Um, we already talked about that. Yeah. Um, I've been watching, uh, I've finished some, sh- some more shows. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what's the big show? Uh, Dracula on Netflix. Is that good? Uh, it was, it was, it was good. It wasn't good. Okay. Like great. great. It's, it's cause of the, the first episode and the last episode were like, okay. Like the first one at first. Okay. Mind you, there's three episodes. Okay. Each one is an hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's almost so a movie. Every yeah, time so it's almost it. a movie. So like, I because at first when I the first episode I was watching, I was like, all right, I'm getting into it, but I, I'm still kind of like a little confused, and I'm like, how long is this? I'm like, I feel like I've been watching this forever, and I'm like 45 minutes in, and I still got some. I'm like, whoosh. Got, yeah, good bit. I'm like, whoa, okay, I'm like halfway. So I kept watching. And I'm like, all right, I hope this second episode's good. Second episode to me at least is the best one. Oh, that's good. Yeah, towards the ending of the first one. It got pretty good. I and didn't then, need to watch it. I just yeah. One of those things where I'm like, I need to sit down and watch yeah. it. I did watch um, "Don't Fuck with Cats." <laughs> it's a Netflix <laughs> documentary. It's yeah. an actually funny name. Whew, that was a messed up documentary. Yeah. It's basically a dive into this guy who killed some cats on the internet, and the internet now <laughs> wants to find him, and it's oh, about goodness. this whole journey with stuff like that, and them trying to piece together. Yeah. Um, all right, we hear this television show. Where would this play? Is, is, do, do we think he's in Russia? No. Okay, well, who's mm. this guy? Let's see if we can piss, uh, pick them together with this thing. It's yeah. cool. Just wild stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it, that was fun. No, it wasn't fun. It was very interesting. Interesting, to watch. yeah. Um, aside from that, I don't think I watched any of the shows. Yeah. I was, I'm, I'm seeing one with that Harley Quinn show. That's really fun. I, I see. Did I saw the, the trailer for the new one. The Birds of Prey. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched the new a trailer. trailer what dropped today. That was really good. okay. Really good. I liked the the first trailer. I was like, whatever about this yeah. one though. I'm excited. Okay, I'm excited now. Yeah. Um, I was using the HBO thing on Prime to watch His Dark Materials. That's so good. it's based off the books of like the. Is it you know, vampires? You remember the movie The Golden Compass? The yes. one that has those armored bears. And I stuff didn't like watch that. it, but yes, I watched it. Uh, it's based off of that world because this is That's pretty right. much. I at least in my opinion, it's a reboot because they mm-hmm. said that there's three books. The first book is called Northern Lights. This that's, that's what this first uh, see, first this this was is about because it's his dark materials. I'm assuming is the name of the book or whatever. I, don't I know. think it's the book series. It's the book series. I don't yeah, remember. the first one's Northern Lights, but this first season it has to do with the first book. Okay. So I I I I was very interested in it because I think the idea is cool. Like these people have uh, these uh, animals that they're called demons, but they're linked to them. So like as you as you as you you know you're a kid. Let's say you have like a um, this little animal that and um, they can actually change forms. Like there's one where it has it's like a ferret, but then it can change to like a butterfly, and then it can change to like a fox because it hasn't fully gotten its final form yet, its true form yet. Until you get, once you got once you come of age, it gets a true form. Of and it and it'll symbolize what your soul is. Pretty oh, much. I remember the premise. Y- yeah, of this. yeah, okay. But um, um, yeah, but there's memories. yeah. So there's you know there's so many like there's one guy that got like he hit he he finally hit his uh pu- or he finally hit his uh, the age or whatever it's puberty I guess <laughs> he finally hit the age and his demon uh finally formed into like a into like a hawk and that was that was his tr- its true form it always it'll always will and always stay as a hawk. Okay. The weird thing is if the demon gets hurt or like let's say you like poke at it or hurt it or something it hurts you it's connected to you so if you and it's so like let's say if you wind up killing the demon you wind up dying you would die yeah so it's crazy it's 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 interesting i liked it it was nine episodes (laughs) uh, i watched it all (laughs) and i watched it all okay so yeah it it has piqued my interest yeah it's piqued my interest let's let's get into the light bit of news we have we don't have too much today i just want to hit this and then we'll go into the actual topic of the show um I wanted to point this out for the audience, everyone listening, that this is a very... Th- I haven't seen anything in, like this before. Um, uh, if you guys know, Origin is a P- 
PC kind of hardware company that sell a lot of things. Um, uh, they sell basically computers, monitors. Uh, it's a really cool website. You can also build PCs through their website too and then um, get them sent to you and things. And they made this new thing called the Big O. Oh, yeah. And what yeah. that is is it is a PC with a system inside of it. And yep. it's not really inside of it. It's, it's kind of like, like glued together in a, in a weird yeah. way. Yeah. You, you'd have to look up the picture. It does look pretty seamless. Um, and they have an Xbox and a PS4 version. And it's really cool. So I think the um, big thing of the device is, yes, it, it's the, it, the, the thing is like the ultimate creator entertainment thing all in one. Because there's this giant <laughs> PC next to it streaming a system right next to it so you can play the system while streaming through the system or sorry the pc and you can natively stream and play on one device Mm -hmm. it looks really cool everything's water cooled with the pc and console um you guys can look up reviews this thing is super expensive um i actually looked and i was like i wonder if i could Fanatic. No, 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 Mm-mm. no, I, I, I couldn't, but it is cool. It does have a um, capture card inside of it, which yep. I find that's really cool. Um, it looks, it looks awesome. You could, uh, just wanted to give everyone a heads up. It looks really cool. Um, it has a very strong, very strong PC in this thing. The, uh, we're talking 2080 GeForce RTX, mm-hmm. um, or you can choose the Titan RTX if you'd like, um, of course, for more money. <laughs> Um, which supports, of course, VR headsets, um, all 4K TVs, all the high refresh monitors, and you can pick 40 refresh yeah. monitor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I didn't even know you can get that high. By the way, I, I, I thought I thought 160 was as high or 244 yeah. or something like that. I don't remember. Um, and then you can get the fast storage with up to four terabytes on the PC to two terabytes of the console. Um, that can get even crazier with stuff like that too. Um, and then you can make it look cool with different designs and lights and all that. This thing looks straight up wild. I'm going to make one as you talk. <laughs> Go ahead and make one, Alex. It was fun. I made one, too. It was $2,300. <laughs> Just to give you guys a frame of reference to how much this thing costs. It looks so cool. Oh, that's this, weird. And if, Alex, we, Easy Achievers, uber successful, and we're making so much money, oh, I would yeah. probably think about buying this. Only because it's, like, the perfect uh, content creation rig. Yeah. Just oh, like yeah. they're saying. Like, it's, like, the perfect rig that you have... The, the two lives and one thing. I have one flaw of this thing. It's twenty three hundred dollars. Well, a, a second flaw. <laughs> For the PlayStation version, it's a pro. For the yeah, Xbox version, it's a one S. It's a se- it's What's a one going S. on with that? I What's saw that, that too. I, I I was assuming there's some sort of like I want to go with the Xbox version, but I sh- should I just go with the pro version because it's better? Well, very, very, it's, it's it, it'll run better. I would still go Xbox because like. That's where we have the game. No, yeah, that's right. where we have. But, um, yeah, it, that is a weird thing I noticed. Um, Jeez. I was like, why isn't it just an X? I, I, but I assume there was some sort of stipulation that they could meet that they Because yeah. I'm sure they wanted that on there. Because, um, obviously, price was not an issue with making this. So Oh, God, yeah. So uh, it definitely wasn't something they couldn't afford. Um, but this thing looks wild. It, 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 there's a lot of things going on. Um but uh, yeah, we just want to give you guys a heads up on that. It looks really cool. Look it up if you want, if you're more interested or just want to see what's going on with this thing. It's really cool looking. Um, mm-hmm. Moving on to another little piece we have, Alex. Have you noticed this Batman talk we have going on today? Yes, I have. So we have not really rumors, but we have kind of hints at what the game's going to be. Yeah. So they've released a uh, image on their Twitter um, stating, uh, capture the night. Okay. And what that means is, um, that we assume is as something with maybe Batman or, uh, but everyone's been saying this is the court of our storyline, which mm. I'm not super familiar with. I do know a little bit about, but not super familiar with it. Um, and then they have a complete, so this is what it looks like, Alex. That is what the oh, symbol yeah, looks like. Yeah. yeah. And, um, if you can look this up, just look up WB Montreal's Twitter or just look up, Batman, I'm sure it'll come up right now because everyone's talking about it. Um, Capture the night is like their tagline, and they're just they just keep talking about the stuff. And then, yeah, um, they also released like they released an image, and then they released an entire kind of um, how do I explain this grid showing each symbol in mm. uh, in a spot. Yeah, and uh, the, we're obviously gonna get more symbols. I heard someone theorize that we're gonna be. Uh, able to play as multiple people in this game. Okay. 
um, because there is like an opening for four kind of regular symbols in the middle. Mm. Plus, going around it being like the um, each symbol of like main main whatever they're doing capture the night like slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's cool. I just wanted to point out that. I don't know when we're getting any information on this because we got the first teaser, mm-hmm. if you remember, Alex, <clears throat> four months ago, I believe, three months ago, something like that, a while ago. Yeah. And now we're getting another one. So I don't know if marketing messed up. I don't know if they had to push something, but it is very weird that we're getting this kind of mismatch of like, here's one, here's another thing, and then nothing to follow up on anything. Um yep. That's cool. I uh, just wanted to point that out. That looks cool. I'm, I'm nothing really to report on other than they're just kind of trying to hook the game up. Um, but yeah, that's it. And then Alex, um, did you see the Pokemon Direct this morning? I, oh wow, I didn't even know that was today. Yeah, so the, there was a Pokemon Direct this morning. Okay. Uh, they went over a few things. Um, they went over the expansion pass for mm-hmm. the Sword and Shield. There are going to be two expansions. There's going to be Isle of Armor, and there's going to be what's the other one called? I don't remember. Oh, the okay, the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like an ice. Place. I was on the eShop and that popped up, and I was like, "What the heck is it?" Yeah, that's thirty dollars. People are a little upset that it, that's a, it's a little expensive. So, yeah. um, but they'll buy it, I'm sure. Um, but it's thirty bucks. Um, they did reveal Galarian forms of Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Oh, I thought you'd you'd like that a cool. lot. Yeah, I always like the those those legendaries. Yeah, so there's that. What it is all this? What are you looking at? On this computer? Yeah, that's one thing where I just, I don't know, PC's good enough. Like, and I have no idea storage drive, and then there's like, okay, two terabyte Samsung, PM981. Oh, okay. Yeah, isn't that the SSD, right? I So that's how I, fast the I memory guess, will be? Because right, SSDs are faster. I haven't even added that, and drive. I'm already at $4,200. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing? I have Mine no, was 23 I mean, <laughs> or I, 28 or I guess like I'm just going all all out. You're going all out. Hey, man, if you're spending the money, might as well go big or go right? <laughs> for the $5,000. Um, oh, but, yeah, that, uh, that's just a little thing I wanted to bring up. The, yeah, yeah. There's two expansions. Um, they're promising a lot of Pokemon. They are doing a very cool event right now where you uh, have a better chance of getting uh, Gigamance Lapras. And two other ones I'm, I'm uh, uh, blanking on. But, yeah, the Lapras. And then you can go get Galarian Slowpoke if you go to Warecrest's uh, train station. Mm-hmm. Talk to the person there. A Slowpoke will come out. And just go talk to him. Just catch him. Um, okay. Don't, of course, kill him. Yeah, if you yeah, want to yeah, catch yeah. him, just catch him. You'll get, you'll get yourself a Galarian Slowpoke. Um, you cannot evolve that until the expansions come out. Um, first expansion, Alvamore, was dated for June. And then the next one, Fall 2020 at some point. So we don't know full details on that. Yeah. Um, but for the news, Alex, that that is it. I did want to uh, touch on Witcher Three getting a second life because of that new show. Oh yeah, um, it, it did hit peak Steam numbers um, higher than when the game launched, which is incredible for a single player game. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so good for them. I wanted to give uh, CD Projekt Red a shout out for that. The show was awesome and the game is awesome. Yeah. Um, so good for them, Alex. We're gonna get into 2020. Um, we did our uh, look back in 2019, mm. uh, detailing like what we thought of it, our thoughts on the games, gave our full game of the years. You can follow that, you know, of course, on YouTube or uh, podcast service of your choice. Um, and now we're going to look into the future and technically our present the now, future. Um, but we're going to the present year of 2020. We're going to look at everything coming out. We're going to discuss what we think uh, is going to happen with this launch and we'll go from there. Alex, the first game. Okay. I want to talk about. All right. Comes out in about two weeks. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. This is one of those question mark games where I am so excited. Yeah. Originally, couldn't care less. Now, because I keep seeing trailer for it. I haven't seen anything. It is hyping me up. I, I saw that you. first trailer. That was it. Well, it um, is ground that we've treaded about a thousand times. Yeah. You're playing through Goku. And the Dragon yep. Ball Z saga. Yep. So it's the, the, same, the same story. We're being, uh, we're at Frieza the saga. We're literally at the Android start of Z. Yeah. Where Raditz comes and Steel's yep, go right, on. Yeah. We're going to go catch him again. Yep. And then we'll go through Frieza and then Sao and then Manjin. And then I, presumably the game ends. Yeah. Um, there are cool side quests, it looks like now. It looks like it's trying to be Budokai, but like now Budokai. Mm. If you remember, Budokai had that open world that you can fly around and do kind of side quests, kind of like this. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. If you remember, you, do you remember? I remember Budokai 3. You were able to uh, fly yes, around Budokai, or the Earth, the yeah, yeah. And then when there's it, when there's Dragon Balls that'll light up, and you can go to it. 
If you get into a Dragon Ball fan. So, <laughs> yeah. I am excited about this. I'm just hoping it does something a little new. Yeah. And the combat is the question mark. It looks cool. Is mm-hmm. it going? Am I going to feel cool hitting the buttons? Am I going to be able to, to get these combos just yep. right to where I can hit everyone and then do a big bang attack and then follow that up with something? I don't know, but I'm excited. <laughs> to uh, Any uh, thoughts on this? We'll figure that out, I guess, in two weeks. Good point. Good point. Because we'll get it for sure. Oh, of, of yeah, course. I want to play it. So. Of course. Um, next game, Darksiders Genesis. What do you think about this game? You're the Darksiders fan. I haven't really played it too much. I I'm, played a little I'm, bit of two, a little bit of one. I'm, I haven't touched three. I'm iffy on it because I'm still playing. Th- I Well, I'm not still playing it. I stopped you playing, playing three. three. Yeah. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Two is my favorite. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say one. I like two. Death is my favorite horseman. Mm-hmm. Um, this See, one is different because I think if I read correctly, it's top down. Yep, top down. Yeah, uh, uh, it's an it's a new for the the genre. Yes, um, it's going to be uh intense combat, exploration, puzzle solving, mm-hmm. epic boss battles, and separate holes from heaven to hell. Yeah, um, it's a two player co op, so I feel like we should prob- probably try and play it yeah. together. Um, and you play as war or strife or co op as it's crazy. Of. Yeah. Really, war? I have, I wonder if mm-hmm. yeah, war is in it apparently. Mm, interesting. I yeah. haven't finished three, so I don't know what happens. Well, this is one. a prequel. Oh, it's a prequel. Yes, I don't, I don't know, know that, how far. Oh, that, I don't know how before that, did, that is. Okay, that I it didn't just know. I heard it was a prequel. Yeah. I don't. I know. like the games, but I never really remember the, the lore. lore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I'm sure there's a lot going. On. Oh yeah, um, but that looks cool. I'm excited to play it only because it looks like it's fun. Yeah. Um, and this is coming out on straight up everything: PS4, Xbox One, Switch, PC, Stadia, February 14th. Now is the release date is. Do you think it's going to be on Game Pass? No. No. I don't think Game Pass is there yet to where we're getting full launch games. Okay. Aside from deals like them owning it already. Yeah. That already think comes there out later. Because how many games I'm pretty confident about. Does it say the retail use. price on that? On um, it does not. Can you look that up for me? Yeah. Actually? Because I want to see how. Because, I mean, we just got, what, Untitled Goose Game had just came out recently, and that's already on Game Pass? Yeah, I feel like indies so, are for sure. I feel like Dark Siders might I feel be like a little too... Dark I don't know. I, I could see that being a deal maybe Genesis. a month later, but it's one of those things where, like, are you cool waiting a month to play the game? Yeah. No, and right. having the chance. We get it's in that uh, gray area. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We get in that gray area with games like this where it's like, it, do you want to wait and see if it comes on Game Pass, or do you want to just buy it and play it? Yeah. I feel like that's a lot of things because you can say that about any game, right? I think I would want to wait just because I'm not sure. That I'm not used to the top down with Dark Siders, mm-hmm. but it does look cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's February 14th. Next game we have up Marvel's Iron Man VR. February 28th. Yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, very, very excited. Very exciting. Yeah, this looks so cool. You just, of course, it's yeah. what it hey. is. It's an Iron Man game on the PSVR, uh, and you play in VR. Cool thing. Um, we can have it because we both have a VR. Yes, we do. I still need to buy Move controllers, which yeah. I'm I have silly mine. and just haven't yeah. bought them. I need to yeah. buy some. Um, and I need to do my setup. I just need to yeah. put up the uh, camera and all. Yeah, I need to reset up my. I need to reset up my setup because I took it down when I moved the TV to the other room. Because mm-hmm. I want to play Beat Saber. So I bad. need to play Beat Saber. I, love, I have yet to play it. I love Beat Saber. To play it. Yeah, yeah, that's so my fun. biggest regret. I need to play Beat Saber and I want to play Moss. Yeah. I want to play Super Hot and I want to play Blood Moss and Truth. Moss is cool. Uh, I want. I want to play Blood and Truth. I haven't tried Super Hot on VR. I played it on the Xbox. Not on VR yet. I just, I've I've beaten it on Xbox, and yeah. I'm like, I need to play this. On yeah, VR. Um, yeah. No, Moss is cool though. Like, I like just the the way it looks. It's so cool. Like, I have played a bunch of VR games. Like, even Astrobot is fun. Very exciting. Yeah. Final Fantasy VII remake, March third, PS4. I feel like we'll love it, but I'm gonna be, excuse my French, pissed off that it's gonna be like just part of the game. Interesting that they're saying Final Fantasy VII Remake with no asterisks, no plus, no mm-hmm. no part one, no yeah. n- nothing. No. Nope. Because they, they should know that that's not the full game. Should they? Or, sh- or should the uh, cover art mention that this is up until Midgard? Because I'm sure some people don't. They follow. won't. They, they, no. They, they'll be like, oh, if you want the full game, you just wait. Do you think uh do you think you'll get the full game through updates or do you think you'll get the full game through paid expansions? Uh paid expansions or a next disc thing. A next disc thing? Yeah. We're getting into squishy area. You're paying sixty dollars for a yep. game. 
But see, so they this say has that to they have sixty dollars worth but see, of value. They, well, they said that there's a lot of content here. I can say that too, Alex. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess has so. so much content. Yeah, you will blow your course. mind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, that, they've said so. Let's see what happens. I need to see the game. Yeah, yeah. It, I have seen the, the the trailer has shown me that there looks to be a lot mm. of content. If so they I, give me enough content as they did in Final Fantasy 15, that will be insane. That'll be insane, and that's just in Midgard. They're just that's Midgard. insane. That's just in Midgard. Um, and people were theorizing that this, and I don't think this is true, but they were theorizing that this might be part, part one out of four or five games. Oh my God. I don't think that's true. I no. think they're going to shorten this game and there's no way they're dragging. It'll now, be two. First off, I'm saying this, this is square. They do like, they do like dragging things out. You can look at Final Fantasy's entire lifetime. And, yeah, and decide on that. I mean, so they, they did, might drag this out until for five, four I, or five for, years. Yeah, for Final. I mean, Final Fantasy um, thirteen. They had three games. They had thirteen, <laughs> thirteen two, and then Lightning Returns. Yep. So they had three games for that one. Good for Square that they had the they balls to say thirteen two is what is what we're gonna call a game. Um, thirteen. Yeah. They had ten two and thirteen. With a straight two. face, yeah. not a single smirk in that face. Thirteen. Just, yeah. yeah no, thirteen it's just two. Um, so is it the second one or is it the thirteenth one? <laughs> is this technically fourteen? No, we didn't name it fourteen. It's yeah. thirteen and a half. And fourteen is not even you know. It's an online game. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that looks cool. I'm excited to play it. I haven't really played the original before, so I'm excited to try that. Out. Yeah. Um, next up on the list, February um eleventh. For some reason, this is out of order. Um, but that's okay. Ori in the Will of the Wisps. So Xbox excited. One PS, uh, PC. I feel like this was delayed. Ori? Fe- um, yeah. I don't remember it February 11th. I, I thought it was something record. later than that. Yeah, I can check for that, but I haven't played yeah. the first one. I need to. I want yeah. to try and play that before this game comes out, just to try and get that. Um, I don't think that release date is correct. Alex will check that for me. Um, online, it's saying February 11th. Okay. Uh, I thought it got pushed, but yeah, February 11th for that game. Exciting. Yep. Um, Alex, Neo 2, March 13th on PS4. Never what, finished the first you, one. Is that a game you are interested in? Isn't this um, a... Dragon, it's, uh, it's what is Soul Dark, Sworn, Soul-Z. Soul-Z. It's a yeah. Soul-Z, it's a Soul-Z game. Okay. Um, I played the first one. I never finished it, but it is on the, okay. It's, it could, it could be on the easier side. Compared but not, to Dark Souls. Compared exactly. to Dark Souls, yes. Yeah. Compared to very, very, very hard games. Um, but it is fun. It, it does remind me a lot of Sekiro. Because I mean, it's more is you know, it's another ninja. I feel like this game's getting pushed. We haven't seen anything about this game. What Neil? Yeah, I haven't seen. I've seen that one thing about it. And that was the it. teaser. The teaser at E3. Yeah, that, that's it. Twenty eighteen, by the way, E3 twenty eighteen, and I haven't heard anything else. Was Maybe it, I, was it twenty eighteen? Yeah, I thought that was. Oh, yeah, 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 the only reason I know is because it has it right here. Um, Damn, which is insane. Yeah, Whoa. that was two years I thought, ago. I thought that it would, I thought we. I thought, I thought we, we did too, but we PS, saw it. PS4 wasn't there, so they couldn't have. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. it would have had to been a state of play, and it wasn't in a state of play. That's so weird. Yeah, weird. Um, moving All on. Right. Doom Eternal, March twentieth. Originally skated for um last year pushed all the way to march um i hey, assume they needed polish if they um, yeah if they need polish give it to it i i i, I want to play it but I, I i can wait platforms ps4 xbox one pc and stadia originally um yeah expected in fall 2019 yeah it was delayed to march 2020 id needed to polish it um apparently they're developing a switch version as well um doom is doom I'm yeah. going to shoot stuff. I'm going to yep. tear things in half. I'm going to rip things heads out, put make things eat their hearts. Things. Very exciting. Yep, all those things. Alex, Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you hear that in the distance, ladies and gentlemen, if you give it one second, you will hear my girlfriend scream Animal Crossing. And there it is. Okay, Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, coming out March 20th on Switch. Animal Crossing uh, is very popular. Yeah. I forgot how popular it was, honestly. It does, yeah. Um, and the memes are really funny. <laughs> uh, because they don't talk, they just go. Meep, 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 meep. Yeah, this is so some weird noises. Really funny memes, and it's weird stuff. because you know some of them are animals, and you would think they, you would think they would. Oh, that's a good point. Except you. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, you you would think they would do the actual animal noises, and they don't. Yeah. No, 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 no. They do some weird other noises. It's like Sim. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't sound like Sim, but it's like Sim talk where it's just gobbledygook. Yeah, it's gooby gobbledygook. Gooby gobbledygook. A bleeding edge. March 24th. You remember this game? Yeah. Xbox One PC. This is by Hellblade's developer, Ninja Theory. Um, since they were acquired, uh, this um, has been kind of like their temple. Like, look at what we're doing. We're doing Bleeding Edge. This was the melee-focused Overwatch, in quotes, that oh, okay. they're kind of told. You said Sucker Punch, right? 
No, no, no. Ninja no, who, Theory. Ninja Theory. Who, Hellblade which, made this. Which game is the one that's either Sucker Punch or Insomniac that I that we were talking about that one day? I thought that was Bleeding Edge. <sighs> Neither. Bleeding Edge is the game from Ninja Theory. Okay. I think yeah, you're that, thinking about that EA game, right? Maybe. I'll have to look it up. But that this is the one that's like Overwatch Melee you just said, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then there's another one. Um, God, they're so similar. What's the other one? There's one other that. game that's online, and it's trying to come out. We mm. saw concept art, I think. I feel like I know what you're talking about. We saw like concept art, I think. Um, yeah. Ubisoft, I think, is making that one. I don't remember. So many games. So many. So many games. Half-Life Alex. It's a game about you and your life, Alex. Half-Life. It's about you. Yeah. It's about you and what it would happen if you had to fight crabs. Yeah. Would you live if you had to fight these things in Half-Life? I, maybe. They use crowbars. I know that's then a no. thing. I never played Half Life. Oh, you said oh, okay. You use crowbars. I thought you meant it. I thought you. I thought you. I thought you meant the crabs use crowbars. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. Then I'm dead. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can please make that and send it to me, just a crab with a crowbar. <laughs> that's why I was like, oh yeah, I got this. If the crab has a crowbar, no, I'm screwed. You're like, oh no, no, no. He has an advantage. He yeah. has the high ground. Yeah. Some say. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's March 2020. All PC based VR headsets. All PC based, so no PSVR. Wow. Um, Half Life Alex is the first Half Life in over 12 years. Hey. Um, which is, I feel like when it was announced, very silly. By the way, it mm-hmm. was just announced with no yeah. fervor, no hype. Because a lot of they people like Half Life. They should have held it for Game Awards. Yeah. And shown that off there. I don't know what happened with that. They should have just shown that trailer there. They and should've the showed, hype would have yeah. been insane. They should have showed that instead of the Fast and the Furious game. You can tell that Half-Life was supposed to be there. And they had to bank on this Fast and the Furious game that looks like a 360 port. They should have just showed us the trailer and then we, I would have been fine mm-hmm. for the movie. Um, what do you think about this Half-Life deal? I know you don't play it personally. I don't um, either. Um, but I do think it's interesting that we're seeing Valve making games again. Um, it's interesting because I feel like they're realizing they're like, we we should we should start again. Mm-hmm. And so this is like a a I think is just an op- oh, what is it um an entrance to them coming opening. back. Yeah, coming I think back that's to a good where point yeah, that's so they're like, okay, we'll try this. And if this is good, then that means we still got it. Well, so then I think continue. it's important for Steam to remember, like, if they want people on their platform, give them exclusives. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they, I don't know if they are worried about Epic Games. Uh, They're probably not. Yeah. Um, but if they are, make platforms that keep you in their ecosystem that keeps buying you games. Because yep. literally, it's different on PC where on Xbox, you have to buy a different system. Yep. On PC, you just do two clicks. So I can't imagine... No. It's very hard to retain people, so I'm I'm sure I'm sure it's hard. So, mm-hmm. trying to get people to stay, give them exclusives. Maybe they stay in your ecosystem longer. I don't know. Resident Evil Three Remake is the next game. April third release date platform PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Um, very uh, exciting for yeah. This. I was gonna say I'm sure you're a Resident Evil guy. I'm I'm soft Resident Evil guy. Soft, I'd like yeah. to say I I played five all the way through with my dad back in the day when it came out. I played a little bit of six, didn't like it. Yeah, played all of seven. Really liked that. Yes. And then played all of Resident Evil Two Remake as um, Leon. Loved yeah. that. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. So good. We talked about that on our um, top games of 2019. But I loved that game. So much fun. Yeah. I've played four. Played five with you. Played six. Didn't like it. Same. Um, seven. Played it all the way through. Tried playing seven on VR. Couldn't do it. It was terrifying. Terrifying. Um, I couldn't even get past like ten minutes just because I'm like I feel like it's just it's it's just worse. I don't need to like. I don't need. I don't need to have a heart attack. Uh, two. I tried playing. Cause I. I like. I like it. It just didn't keep me. Project Resistance. What do you think of that? That's the co-op that type the, game where you're fighting against a guy who's basically controlling the environment. So think of Fable Legends. Okay, I was about to say it reminds me of Fable Legends a little <laughs> I, bit. I think we're the only two people that that reminds them of that. Yeah, <laughs> but basically that you make traps and summon. Okay. I think you can summon zombies. I don't know. How Sounds that works. interesting. Sounds cool. Yeah. I want to try it. I don't think I'll get into it, but yeah. I want. I want it for the. I want to try the. What was that? Oh no! I keep thinking of re- uh. Rainbow Six: The Infection. The Online Operation. Thing? Operation. If and it's something. What was it called? I don't remember. I swear if it's but Operation it's, Resistance, the, that'd be funny. No, <laughs> it's not. It's a op- outbreak. outbreak. Operation okay. Outbreak. That right? looked cool because like I saw the trailer for that and that looked cool. That looks cool too. I, um, I want to see 
what you do. And yeah. It looks like you escort somebody. So yeah. maybe you go in, kill zombies, escort this guy out. Mm. Looks cool. Yeah. Alex, our game of the year for 2020, Cyberpunk 2077. That's a that, that that's a bold statement, is it? Because hey, we don't know what else is coming out that year. <sighs> that's so true. Remember towards we're the end Halo. Of the year. Yeah. We're probably getting Horizon Two. We can get to all that uh, near the Sp- end. Horizon Zero Dawn, right? Yes. Now, lucky you say or funny you say that because I thought about going back to it. Yesterday. You should. I thought about now going back. on this. I podcast. turned on the PlayStation yesterday and I looked at it. And then I went to go do something. My PlayStation turned off, and I was like, ah, I'll do it later. Uh, I want the audience to keep a little check mark in your head. How many times Alex says he'll go back to, Horizon go back to a game without w- just without Horizon? Actually going, yeah, just okay, Horizon. Just nothing Horizon. Else, nothing else. We'll, we don't, I don't want to I mean, kill anybody. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, just Horizon. How many times did he say until he actually goes and beats the game? And yeah. I would love if someone can, <laughs> can grab the clip and play it to me. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> From and when we get to Horizon one. 2. We grab the clip and play like yeah I'll go back I'll go back. and yeah. just it's just it's just a it's just a compilation of each time I've said mm-hmm. yeah I'll go back yeah yeah I'll go back yeah. I'll go it's back. like that's training right and then it ends with Alex did not go back <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, one and then one day years from now he finally went back he finally went back he after like Horizon back. three has mm-hmm. come back or something Horizon three I think I'll play this game now. Several twenty seven seven release date uh, uh, April sixteenth platforms PS four Xbox One PC and Stadia um, on March date for Stadia but everything else is that date come um, CG Project Red this is their make or break to be as illustrious as maybe a Naughty Dog or yeah. uh, Sony Santa Monica or Cyber yeah. Punch we know those names it looks good I mean I, I, I hope this looks fun I hope they can break through um, I was thinking about this the other day I was just pondering we don't know a lot about this game. Yeah, like is there an open world? There looks like there I is. I believe it is. A, I thought they said it's an open world. So they did. Yeah, but like, how much? How, of that, how big? How am I oper- What am I operating? Um, I like feel like if it's, I go, if they say I can hack cars. Do I drive the cars, or is that just cutscene based? I feel like it's like Watch Dogs, like Watch Dogs big, like an open world. <sighs> That's big. Yeah, Witcher Three was big. I'm not saying that there. See, Witcher Three was of bigger. Them. So For sure, but there's also more going on in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very curious in what they do with this because when I think open world, I think I go from this area to this area to this area, and I can and there's this whole thing yeah. I can wait wade through. And I'm curious if they stick with that or is this more of a linear open world, which I know sounds silly, but I, mean, I know like, what you mean. It's an open world, but you're meant it's to kind more of follow through this stuff, kinda. similar to Uncharted, but bigger. Yeah, um, closer to maybe Lost Legacy, but okay. of course, way way bigger. Yeah, um, interested and very excited for that. I'm excited to make my um person. Yeah. Um, have you messed around with like? Because there's, what are, what are the names for the people? Because um, you can make uh, your own character, of course. Okay. And then you can... Um, Where? I'm sorry, in the game. My oh, bad. in the game. Not, not yet. I, okay, I, 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 I didn't, do you meant, I didn't well, specify Okay. I, well, I don't know if you meant, like, you know, there was, like, an app. It was like, oh, you can create your guy. No, that would be Like, cool. you know how Need for Speed I, did with the yeah, car? Speed, like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, there's that. And then... um. Uh, the type you can be like the, where you grew like I think how you grew up or something because there's oh, like there's okay. like um okay uh, there's like capitalist I think or something like that there's a bunch of weird stuff like that okay. uh, but it looks cool um and then we're moving on to Minecraft Dungeons April 2020 PS4 Xbox One Switch PC interesting that this is not an Xbox One exclusive because they own Mojang now yep so they're open to just releasing on anything. Yeah. Um, the spinoff uh, brings isometric dungeon crawling to the world of Minecraft, featuring four-player co-op, local and online. Minecraft Dungeons will launch on Xbox One and PC as part of Xbox Game Pass. Game Pass continues to be the best deal in gaming, in my opinion. Very excited for that. I will try it out. It looks cool. Yep. Um, you missed one game that's in March. What did I miss? Watch Dogs. They had pushed. That it. was pushed, though. Yeah. It, no, it's 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 pushed to March. No, no, no. It's Isn't pushed it? from March. Yeah. Oh, oh really? Because yeah, uh, that's it might be it, an old release date. Oh, okay, okay. Because I was gonna say, it, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Sorry. When they said because that's all it says is March six, but I didn't know it was. I thought it was that that was initial release to, date was yeah March sixth. Yeah. Um, they pushed everything three months. So in theory, we'll get what March, April, May, June. So we get in June. Okay. It's so it'll be a summer way. release. It'll be a fun summer game. Yeah, there it was all hands on deck for Ubisoft because they failed Ghost Recon Breakpoint and then they failed Division Two. So it looks like they were like, we need to reassess and yeah. keep going. Yeah, I was so, gonna say Watch Dogs is good. So no, it looks awesome. Yeah, and it's I am very interested in the narrative of you don't you're not the main character. One person, right? he's like yeah, every person, you're has everyone. A... So I'm very interested in how you That's tell crazy. a story through that way. Um, and their permadeath 
Yes. And then yeah, yeah. if you die, that's it. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's ways you can finagle that. Like if you get maybe if you get arrested, you can break that person out or something. But yeah, yeah if you're dead, you're, you 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 dead, fam. Yeah. I think is it a chance based thing? No, I think if you die, you die. I don't remember. No, yeah, it's like if something happens like to your character or whatever, it's like, like that person dies. Like even the uh, that gameplay trailer that they showed, they were like, oh yeah, this you know you winded up dying. Like you were playing as that certain character and he got shot or whatever, yeah, that guy, and you yeah. died. And the on you turn into another character and they're in, they're in that same group. They're like, oh yeah. Um, blank and blank, just uh, you know, just yeah, passed. That, that passed away. So yeah, we have to find someone else that yeah. will hack this thing. So I was like, damn, very that's cool, exciting. very yeah. exciting. A now lot of dialogue must be in that game. You have, I can't imagine how much lo- lines and then how many people yeah. they have. Um, Marvel's Avengers May fifteenth platforms PS4 Xbox One PC. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm very curious on how this works because we still are gray area ish. Um, so we're getting the, um, we're getting six playable characters, Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, Thor, and Kamala Khan, which is, Kamala of course, Miss Marvel. Gotcha. Um, it features single player, story based heroes missions, as well as co-op friendly war zone missions. Don't know what any of that means. Mm-hmm. Um, there is loot in the game. Okay. Um, you don't see it, but you can put things on similar to okay. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. As I've been saying, this is just Ultimate Alliance, but prettier. Um, yeah. In my opinion, yeah. Um, so that's all. It, look, it, it looks like it's yeah. gonna be shaping up to that. I'm very curious. I don't know who else we get. I think the way the game will play is that, like, say there'll be a chapter with, let's say, Tony and Captain, and you'll play as uh, one of them, or or the, or you can combination switch, of two combination. Or you can be either or. If you, like, let's say at the beginning of the match, or you can be this person, and it'll the cha- the story will cu- will be a little different or something. And then, like, it'll change with each one. Like, you know how um, Mortal Kombat does it? You know, yeah. how each chapter, you know, you ha- you play as a specific person. Like, kind of like that, I feel like. So they're all playable, but, like, you not, not through the whole game. Interesting. I don't remember. I think they talked to someone that you can pick out of a few people. I don't remember. Okay. Very interested in see what they do with that. Yeah. Um, and, of course, like, how extensive is things, like... The, the first off, the storyline looks awesome. Oh yeah, it looks cool. It looks so, far. so cool. The yeah. uh, A Day, I think is what it's called. Yeah, where, where it yeah. all happens. Yep. Very excited to see where it goes. Very excited to see everyone like down on their luck, and then Kamala Khan comes and brings them all back up. Yeah, so excited. I'm very curious if we'll if we'll see a version of Spider Man because we get Spider Man PS4. I'm not saying they're crossing, but if the we cro- get a Spider Man at all, yeah. Um, I think to avoid confusion, you could bring Miles and Mansion. Yeah, just pretend like the other one doesn't exist. Um, yep. But maybe we'll get a full fledged Spider Man out of yep. That or they'll reference him or something. Yeah. Webhead or something like that. Yeah. Wasteland 3. Uh, if Never been with me. Of, yeah. Yeah. Comes out May 19th. Platforms PS4, Xbox. We don't know. So just PS4, Xbox One, PC. Um, I need to, I kind of want to try them. It's one of those things where it's like, if I had infinite time, yeah, I'd give it a try, but yeah. not yet. It's, more, it's a, like a strategy type game. Yes, yes, it is. It's like a Does it XCOM, rem- I think. Okay, yeah. It reminds me a lot of XCOM, yeah. kind of like, yeah. That new Gears Tactic game looks awesome, by the way. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> Last of Us Part Two, <sighs> May twenty ninth. That's that's the one that's gonna rival Cyberpunk. Yes, that's true. That is that, true. That's why I was like, that, "You they sure are, that's bold?" Because <laughs> Last of Us, he's mas- They're masters at work yeah. with that game. I feel like that'll be my game of the year. I, f- I just don't I know what's gonna come out will after be that. Too. So I'm like, ah, I don't know. like, and we can talk about this at the end, but like Last of Us. Cyberpunk, like Final Fantasy VII Remake, Halo Infinite, that shark game. Those are f- <laughs> man eater, man eater, no, a critically acclaimed man eater. Yeah. Insane year, dude. Yeah. But that's just the first four or five months. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, because so much games. Yeah. and we get the Xbox Series X <sighs> holiday. So exciting. 2020. So exciting. And the PS4. And the PS5. PS5. We, we don't give them enough love it. here, but um, we don't, we, we're but Xbox fans. Yeah. Just to get both. Well, we because, you know, if, which one will we rather buy first? Of course, it's going to be Xbox. Because be that's, that's our main thing. And it's going to be $600. Yeah. And see, it's hard because now I got to think. Because with the Xbox Series X, I'm going to get rid of my One X to get the Series X. I'm not going to get rid of my Pro to get the PS5 because it's the Kingdom Heart Edition. Oh, I see. I have to keep that thing. Mm-hmm. Like I have just to keep box it. it up and keep it. I'll probably. Well, I mean, I too. just keep it in the other room. I keep it as a because that's a. I don't have a. I don't have second. a. I don't have a Blu-ray player or anything in the in the other room. So I want to keep it as that. Well, it's, it's not 4K, which sucks. Yeah, the five will be. Five will be. Yeah. 
I can't believe PS4 Pro does not. I, I, I'm getting off topic. But, yeah. But yeah. Um, did you see that they released the PS5 logo and everyone freaked out? PS. F. <laughs> what? PS5. That's P- all. It's yeah, us. that's all it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, like PS5. Five. It was interesting that people were excited. I was like, this is so I mean, it's yeah, like a logo. Honestly, I didn't. Yeah, honestly, I didn't think there was gonna change. I figured it would, they would just change the four to a five. Honestly, I thought they were gonna change instead of being all white, like the five be a different color, like a blue color or something. It would be cool if they would embrace their heritage with PS One colors. The what was it? Yellow, red, blue, or something like that. I just really like yes. those colors. You talking about the original ones, the anniversary the, thing? It kind of, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember the original logo was the P, and then the shadow of it was an S? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like just those colors. Are yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. But I know cool. that the marketing and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but that looks cool. Roller Champions. I never even. <laughs> this heard was of it. so. This was um a Ubisoft game. Okay. Um, and it's that game where it's a. Uh, what is it called when you when you roll on um, roll? <laughs> no. <laughs> when you <laughs> when you skate. Roller derby. Yes. Thank you. Roller derby. Okay. Um, uh, that, that the game is a 3v3 roller derby game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. It says it in the article, so I probably should oh, just read that. Oh, I remember this game now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like there's like an arena. They have like the ball and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It actually looked kind of cool it now that a, I remember it. It's yeah. funny. Like I saw it and was like, this looks dumb. And then immediately got to the gameplay. I'm like, oh. Okay, I thought yeah, they, yeah, sh- yeah. did they show gameplay for this? I thought they, I thought they did. I thought they did too, and it went out because I was watching gameplay for it. And it actually looked kind of cool. Yeah, um, it's like Rocket League. It's like you know, it looks cool. Yeah, but it's one of those yeah. games where it's like eh, it yeah. could be fun. Yeah, Disintegration. This is the mech game. Um, sci-fi FPS from Halo co-creator Marcus Ludo. Uh, the shooter blends first-person gameplay and RTS mechanics and features both a single-player campaign and PvP multiplayer. Um, this is just late Q1 to early Q2 2020, PS4, mm. Xbox One, PC. Is this the one that kind of reminds me of Gundam? Yes. Should think, be. Yeah, because you play as a mech. Yeah. And you can summon like things to fight things while okay. you're shooting stuff. Okay. But you play as the mech. Well, because there's that game, and then there's like this VR game that's like kind of like has like a mech to it. Are you talking about Rigs? Rigs? That game's already out. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. a different, different one. one. No, no. I went to GameStop once, and they had the demo on the on their playstation thing or whatever and there's like a weird like a mech thing and it was like dry it was like f- going around like in a, in a big like battlefield uh like a war zone type area but it looked like not gundam but like kind of it's just like a big mech thing it's not the same thing but that sounds like uh basically what this is yeah okay but that it, like, i thought that's what that was i don't think so i don't know it might be Warzone because I think that game's called okay. Warzone too. There's another game kind of like that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Dying Light Two is uh, next on the docket. Spring 2020. I'm excited uh, for platforms, that. Platforms, PS4, Xbox One, PC. I watched we, a it's good been bit a while. of gameplay for that. It's been a while since we've got a Dying Light game. 2015 yeah. was when we got the original one. Yeah. Um, I guess it hasn't been that long. Uh, but uh, it looks awesome. Yeah. I actually watched a uh, like a 20 minute gameplay thing for that. I I didn't watch a full twenty minute thing, but it was kind of like a similar thing where they show you like a mission. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. that's pretty much. There's yeah. consequences. Um, yeah, interested to see if the consequences feel worth it because mm-hmm. games like, in my opinion, like to tack that on sometimes. Yeah, um, Uncharted for instance, mm-hmm. uh, where it's just it's not really necessary. Um, but in this, it looks cool. It looks the free like running is so much better in this one. From what I can tell. What you can tell, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like, Alex, you going on hands on without me, man? Um, um, from what I can tell, it looks it does it look look cool. smoother. It yeah. looks pretty smooth and hopefully that um Well no, I guess I won't be playing that on new systems because that's spring. I was I was hoping maybe the, the new systems aid mm. that. One X should help it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically twenty fifteen. No, yeah, we were playing that on current gen, never mind. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Um next game. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines two. Yeah. Game I went into the year not knowing what it was, but people yeah. love the first one apparently. Oh yeah, apparently. Um, it's basically um here I'll read the cutout. Go ahead. Um, it comes 16 years after the release of the original cult RPG and takes the series up to the West Coast from Los Angeles to Seattle. It was originally dated for early 2020, but was delayed to later in the year as the developer Hardsuit Labs decided to value quality over making the Q1 launch window. This is a game picture vampire. Okay. But first person choice based gameplay. Oh and weird. you can fight stuff with like your hands or like a weapon. Oh weird. Looks strange. 
it looks a little rough on the edges if I have to be completely honest with the graphics graphic wise and all of that okay um so i want to care but they're gonna have to kind of yeah. win me over a little more yeah. um I, I would recommend everyone on home if that interests you to look it up because yeah. it does look fun yeah it just looks a little dated in my yeah. opinion but well because we'll I, I mean that's how i felt about vampire vampire was fun but i never f- went back to finish it <sighs> it's just like it like the like powers vampire. were cool but then they get to a certain the, point I'm like nah. the premise of Vampire was so cool, yeah. But the execution of the weird talking to everyone, like that's that was that's my the issue. first game where I was like, why do I have to talk to every living person that in was, this game? That was my issue and with that one. No offense, the writing wasn't great. Yeah. So like there were times where I'm just hitting X, like can yeah, I get just to something yep. cool? And it just yeah. doesn't but really the, hit the, the line. Just thing. being able to f- the f- the way they fought, it was like super cool. Well, the powers were cool. Like, yeah. all of that was cool. Yeah. It's just that there was this giant barrier of talk to the entire town. Place yeah, because you got to make sure you like, keep everybody's thing up from being sick. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I, I'm mm-hmm. a vampire. Can I just, like, kill or not kill? And then it's one of those games where it's like, you're a vampire, but you can't be a vampire. I'm like, oh, my God. Can't I just eat evil people without yeah, being right? evil? Like, this yeah. guy is a bad guy. Can yeah. I not just eat him? Oh, and they're like, they're like, they're like, that's a bad choice. Like, oh my god, I I do I I do I I've I've come to loathe black and white decisions. <laughs> yeah. Because the older I get, the the more you realize there are gray and like yeah, it, like it's always killing this guy is bad and letting him live is good and like nah. this guy could go murder twenty other people and I can just end him right now. Right. But I guess that's the Batman way of thinking. Is the other way where like you can't kill everybody, but whatever. Yeah. I guess. Ghost of Tsushima. Mm. Summer 2020 PS4 exclusive. Of course, Ghost of Tsushima launches summer 2020. Um, Ghost will be the biggest game Supper Punch has ever made by a wide margin, according to Sony. This looks cool. Yeah. This reminds me of, because I'm playing Sekiro right now. I forgot to get that in the, oh, the show. Okay. But I'm playing Sekiro. Um, I, killed, I killed Butterfly Lady. Did you finally? I killed her. Alex. Yes. For, for you. Okay. For everyone who had an issue with that game, because I went to Butterfly Lady way too early in the game. <laughs> I can't believe they let you go there. Okay. Because I get I get to her fine. It's actually fighting. I'm her still stuck same. on the main boss because the first boss, so. uh, horse guy, horse guy, and then if you go to the other way, Are it's you, uh Chujo. What the big the fat dude? The I big killed super him guy. with the like hack. I say yeah, yeah. With, I like, like I tried, getting on his back. Yeah, I tried doing that, and I got like almost like all the way. And then uh, I guess I went too far, and he started to turn around, and I was like, no. And his health bar went back up, and I was like, screw it. And I was like, I'm not going back to this. Yeah, it's – I would say give it a second try like I did, just mm-hmm. try and re- relearn everything. But yeah. if you if you know, if you didn't like that it. That snake like was it, you terrifying. Do, you do have – I got to that part. That was cool. I stabbed him in the eye. Yeah. It was so cool. Yeah. Yeah, sorry for your, for your spoiling, but whatever. Whatever. Um, yeah. um, but with Sekiro, uh, a really cool aesthetic. It is – it's hard. <laughs> Oh um, god! But yeah. I have made progress to where I'm like, okay, I, I got this now because I I've made it through a, a pretty good amount of the game now. Mm-hmm. Um, having a great time, having That's a great good. time. I feel cool. Yeah. Um, I feel like a samurai. <laughs> um, I like grabbing the prayer beads and getting my health because yeah, I have like triple the health bar now, and um, my thing has like six heals in it. So like, oh, just the okay. progress feels yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, like uh, just like the SS flags and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. But it reminds me a lot of this yeah. Toshima. Um, just feeling dope with a sword. Yeah. And this guy looks awesome because he has that mask deal yeah. going on. Yeah. I want one of those. Would you? Would you, What do you think if I wore that? If you would wear it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just that. Yeah. Just that. Interesting. Nothing else. All right. What would you do? <laughs> I'd be a little concerned. But you probably should. Yeah. Um, but that looks so cool. Um, just the, like the stealth and the and the combat and everything looks awesome. Yeah. Um found the next game. Outriders was the game I was thinking of. Outriders. Outriders is the okay. game by Bulletstorm's developer where people can fly. Yeah. Third person shooter in a dark dis- uh desperate sci fi universe. It's designed for one to three players and features <laughs> drop in, drop out, cooperative multiplayer. Yeah, that's what it was. Yep. Summer twenty twenty platforms to ps4 xbox one pc and this looks cool um one of those games where we don't really know much because it was like one of the yeah look at our movie and like judge the game it's like okay yeah. whatever yeah i was about to say i um i enjoy bulletstorm so i'm seeing what they'll do more yeah interested um halo infinite 
God, I'm so Halo excited. Halo Infinite. I'm so excited. Release date holiday 2020. Uh, launch, uh, launch when uh, not window, sorry, launch date of the Xbox and Series X. So it's going to be launching with it. it. They said it's a soft reboot, isn't it? No. I thought that's what they said. I don't think so. Because I was trying to figure out if this is a sequel, but it's... I, it, oh, I look like a fool. Hmm? Alex, the Xbox brand's most notable mascot, Master Chief, will help Microsoft usher in a next generation of console hardware in holiday 2020. While Halo Infinite will be a Project Scarlet launch title, Xbox One and PC versions will also be released. 343's Bonnie Ross said Infinite is a, quote, spiritual reboot. Spiritual to the reboot. franchise. Okay. Don't know what that means. I I'm think assuming it's it's pretty much just like you know it's not restarting everything, but it's 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 okay. It's kind of like what God of War did, because you know that's not 100%. a that's not our full not reboot. Not a full it's reboot. Just a, we're it's still just a, we're that still sequel happened. Yeah, but we're just gonna kind of ignore it. ignore. It. <laughs> yep, yep. Because so, there, so the, with this one, they're gonna ignore five completely do you think we ignore cortana because you can't really spoilers for hail five i guess four technically because she was started going nuts in four whatever it's spoilers for the end of halo five but she kind of okay. like takes over ais and stuff like that yeah it takes over the Prome- promethean Pro- prothean things Pro- i think that they're called protheans does she take the prothean i thought it was just the ais i thought she took over them maybe i don't, I don't remember i haven't i played that game once yeah me too and i well, wanted to go back together. but i'm like whatever you know what i mean yeah um but uh yeah i, I wonder if they're just gonna pretend that didn't happen i feel like they i feel I like i don't think you can they should just continue this past three like just skip four and five that's a big that's a pretty big reboot though <laughs> i mean you do you're ignoring an spirit, entire game spiritual reboot i mean i'm just saying <laughs> you're like come on man it's in the name reboot I mean, it spiritually. i mean the trailer shows him in space the last time he was floating in space, wasn't it in Halo three? three? Yeah, there you go. Because it ends. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> the the um the trailer for that though was oh, mesmerizing. Dude, it's so beautiful. cool. Mesmerizing. <laughs> it's my favorite part in that whole thing, when he gets dropped down into the ship and the ship just boom. <laughs> I'm like, you could see how much he weighs. It's so cool. Bravely Default Two. A sequel to the 2012 3 exclusive was announced during the Game Awards 2019. Uh, release date of 2020, just some point with Switch. Whatever. Yeah, it's cool. I want to. I, I want to try it. I mean, it's it isn't bravely default from Square. Yes. Okay. I just look like the you'll games. get caught up in the crossfire. Crossfire X is the next game we'll talk oh. about. Release date of 2020, platforms Xbox One. Crossfire, the ultra-popular PC shooter that's seen 650 million registered players throughout its 10-year history, is coming to console for the first time as Crossfire X. Developed by Smallgate in partnership with Remedy. Crossfire X will come first to Xbox One in 2020. Is that the one with the trailer with the black guy and the white, chi- and the white chick uh, shooting no, each other? Or that's whatever? the Ubisoft game. What's that one? That's the Ubisoft game called... I thought that, or it's like something about time, isn't it? Mm-hmm. They're ti- they're caught in a time loop. That's a Ubisoft game, though. Maybe Crossfire it's called, isn't it called Time Loop? Yes. Okay. I think so. Okay. So, so as soon as you said Time Loop, I was like, is it? Isn't it Time Loop? I'm looking at the trailer real quick. Small, yeah, Smilegate. Trying to fill time. Smilegate is making this game first on Xbox One. Like I said, um, I don't know if I have I seen a trailer for this. For which one? Crossfire? Oh, the crossfire. It looks interesting. Um, post-apocalyptic, it looks like. Whatever. This looks cool-ish. Um, Ish. I'll have to see more, of course, because, again, I, I, I can only get so hyped when I don't see an actual trailer of the game. Yeah, and yeah. It's just a movie. Yeah. Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise. Release day of 2020. Platforms is Switch. Interesting. Um, mm-hmm. I've heard people love the first one, and they were super hyped when the second one came out because they didn't think they'd ever get the... The, the sequel because yep. it's a 2010 like cult classic that people love mm. godfall 2020 platforms ps5 pc godfall was announced for playstation 5 and pc during the game awards 2018 it's described as a looter slasher so you can wow. loot while stabbing people interesting um now we're just hitting like random stuff we don't know when it comes out lego star wars the skywalker saga skywalker saga is the most ambitious lego star wars game to date it features levels from all nine mainline star wars movies including 2019's rise of the skywalker and the series deepest roster of playable characters luke ray obi-wan finn bb8 darth vader Emperor palpatine kylo ren and more would you get it of course i love these games apparently yeah. this is the um, tt games is return to form oh really they're gonna try and kind of reboot in quotes their lineup of games yeah 
to try and capture what they had with kind of the Lego Batman, Lego Star Wars yeah. realm where everything was good because I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been super interested to play a Lego game in a long time because I feel like yeah. we just got so much. It, it was got, hard yeah, to get I got, motivated to keep playing them. It got too much to worry because like Cause the I mean, last me one and was, you were proof we were, of how much we loved it, right? Oh yeah, we we hundred percent getting all every the achievements. Single one. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep. Star Wars Complete Saga. We did the uh, Batman one and Batman two. Lego Batman one two. I didn't do three. I didn't do three because it started get at the point where it started I didn't to get do, too much. Yeah. DC Super Super Villain, Same. We thing didn't do too that. Much. I didn't even play the game. I, I have it on PS4. Exactly. I just couldn't. Um. Oh uh, God, there's so much more Lego Incredibles I haven't played yet. I we, my wife and I were playing that. We were really liking it. That, that we then just stopped. Just stopped. Yeah. Um. There's so much more. Why am I forgetting all of them? Oh no, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of them. Um, we played a lot of them in 100 percent of them because we again love achievements. Yeah, I, I so. told my wife because um, uh, she had Harry Potter on the other day, and we've been playing Harry Potter Scrabble, yeah, and I really want to play the Lego Harry Potter collection again. That's another one that we could, yeah. Tell yeah. me, man. We'll we'll go and farm those achievements. Still to this day, the 360 version haunts me. Alex, tell that story. So that's a good story. Oh my god, I'm still upset to this day. That's why I haven't gone back. Mm-hmm. Trauma, um, trauma you know the gold bricks. Mm-hmm. Gold bricks in the games yep. are basically the major major collectible. Yeah, major collectible in the game. You have to do the crazy things sometimes. I need one more gold brick. I have to do this. I forgot what I needed to do. Something in Hogwarts, I believe. It was in, like, in the main hall. It was some. It was somewhere. It was and, easy. And it had to. I it wanted, I remember that it, there was a chest that has to open, and it yes. just pops out. Yeah. I do everything. It opens the chest. And it does that little noise, the whing, and there's no brick. I'm like, so when this happened, we we kept redoing it, and nothing yeah, would happen. And, and then that, you looked it up. There is a known bug yep. that one brick, that if one. something happens specifically, will never spawn. Yep. You and have then, to redo the entire yep, game. And you can't revert to anything. There's no last there save. No save yeah, there's yeah. nothing. So it's it's just like I had I was ninety nine point nine percent done. That's literally that what was it like says. the last brick I needed. One more achievement just to get all bricks, and that was it. And I'm till this day I've yet, and that was like what seven years ago, six seven years ago since I played that game. Sounds about right. I yeah. played it with you, and we were getting the achievements. Yeah, and, and, I, it, it and it's crazy because it was fine for you. Fine for me. I was so mad. Yep. We played it together, and it was fine for you. Weird. And I was like, to this day, I've never gotten. Ugh, Oh my god, I'm so upset. I don't know if I knew this. Mm. Medal of Honor, okay. above and beyond, release date 2020. Platforms are the PC, and it's on the Rift. After an eight-year hiatus, okay, I did yeah. not know it's been that long. An yeah, no, eight-year but- hiatus. Medal of Honor is back with Above and Beyond, a VR shooter from Apex Legends, Star Wars Jedi, to, uh, Fallen Order developer Respawn Entertainment, which is on a roll, by the way. Interesting. Um, with those two games, um, I used to like Medal of Honor. Above and Beyond features a 10 to 12 hour campaign set during World War II. Interesting. I always liked. I I used to play a lot of Medal of Honor because I played on the original Xbox was Rising Sun, and then there's Air Airborne. I think I forgot which p- platform that was on. But 360. I, okay, but I played the heck out of Rising Sun. I don't know why, but I just enjoyed that one because uh, it always starts out you're on a, a one one of the battleship boats and you always and you have to like escape and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, like, I love that one. Yeah, I know I, exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I that on PS2, I think. Yeah, it was on PS2 original Xbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I for some reason I just love that one. But that's interesting. I I, I I I mean, to me honestly, it would be better than that Soldier of Fortune game we played that one time. <laughs> that's a story unto itself that we'll discuss later. Oh. My Microsoft Flight Simulator. This looks cool. It looks awesome. It looks I mean, like it one just, of those games it just looks, where it's like a tech demo in itself. Yeah, but it just looks great. It looks awesome. Yeah. Um. Of course, PC, Xbox. No More Heroes 3, 2020, platform Switch. How do you feel about that one? I've never played them. Isn't this the one where they showed like a game within a game, kind of? Yeah, they get meta. They The guy talks to you while he plays the game, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's Deadpool, but not. It's like Deadpool, but he has yeah. like a lightsaber. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of weird. But yeah. it, it looks like one of those games where it's like, eh, I should probably try it out. Yeah. Predator Hunting Grounds. Oh, I'm so excited for this game. Release date 2020, platforms, PS4. It's PS4 exclusive. Um, asymmetrical multiplayer. Think, because um, the same people, Ophonic, made uh, Friday the 13th. Yes. Same, same thing. Okay. It looks a little bigger, though. Yeah. Um, very excited for this game. Yes, I'm excited. I want to be Predator all the time. Oh, um, but apparently, they are trying to make the Marines kind of cool, though. Oh, no, I hope so, because when... The- 
uh, when they did uh, Alien vs Predator, Alien vs Predator, the game, Predator, the game that, that was fun. It was actually really fun because I mean, but that one actually had a story mode, and for each one, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah it I had I had a story. I had three story mode, ca- three campaigns, one for each, uh, one for each one, and that was actually really fun. I wish honestly they would bring. Was is that backwards compatible? I don't think so. Okay, I wonder if it, it might is because be. I mean that. Uh, you want to go back? Yeah, it'd be fun to go back. back. Um, about a month ago, I went back and started watching Alien again. And I was debating if I should go back and finish. Because I finished the first one. And I'm debating uh, if I should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think I confused him because I undid my belt while staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I, I, I lost train of thought. What yeah, was I saying? Did. Oh, yeah, You Alien. thought you'd get a glimpse. Oh, God. Um, but, you know, I want to go back to watch Aliens and then maybe go through the Predator series. That I sounds love, fun. I love those. That sounds fun. We, you can do that, and I'll try and do it with you. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen... I've seen Alien 1 and 2, not anything else. I know. And I've never seen a Predator movie. I've owned, I own uh, all that. I, I, I watched Predators, I think, or something. It's the one with the... They're on the planet of Predators. That's Predators. Yeah. Yeah. Plural. That's, that's the one, the one I watched. It has the... I forget always. I always forget his name, but he's in uh the, the Jack Black King Kong movie. He plays Jack... Driscoll. I remember that for some reason. I don't know. I don't what know. You're talking about. Psychonauts uh, 2. I like that movie, right? It was three <laughs> hours long, but I, I remember I was in theaters watching that movie. I don't know what. Psychonauts 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2020, PS4, Xbox One, PC. Um, I have not played the first one. Um, Double Fine's a good studio, though, and, and Xbox One did purchase them. So Yeah. We know that that's going to eventually happen. Alex just took off his arthritis cuff that old women wear. It's it's carpal tunnel. <laughs> I think it's like it hurts really bad. Yeah, right yeah. yeah. When I lift something heavy, like mm-hmm. I was at work, mm-hmm. I lifted something heavy. I'm like, oh god, mm-hmm. I have sharp pain right here in my wrist. So I think it's carpal tunnel. You might need to massage it, yeah, or maybe right now, something. like this does not hurt. If I turn it this way, like sideways, or twist it, it's like yeah, and you I probably f- pulled a muscle. Yeah, I feel something. I don't know. Yeah. Careful, man. Yeah, I need you. We can't survive without you, Alex. All these, oh, yep. Well, System need, Shock remastered. <laughs> System Shock. Yes, release date twenty twenty. PS four, Xbox One, PC. Um, System Shock is a very popular game from nineteen ninety four. Um, people love the, people oh, love these. Uh, I've never played them. It's the um inspiration for Bioshock. It, oh yeah, yeah, the yeah, same yeah, people yeah. went to make Bioshock. I was about to say you said System Shock. My, my, my um, went straight nope, to Bioshock. It, it wasn't the same people. Sorry, it was a. Um, it's, it inspired. Inspired. Them to make I was about to say, isn't that it's, it, like it's? It was so, meant to be a spiritual successor. That's what the word I was yeah. looking for. A spiritual it it wasn't actual, of course, successor, but they loved the game so much that they kind of mirrored it in Bowser. Yeah. Tales of Arise, which looks like one of those booby Ta- games. The Tales games. Yeah. I, f- I think the it's picture part of has the Tales like games. a little anime girl and she's holding like an egg thing. And she's got the little boobies. The, 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 weird. The, the little boobies. Release date twenty twenty platforms PS four Xbox One PC. Um. Yep. This is just next game in the Tales genre. Yeah. Looks cool. Yeah. And Alex, I still love to this day Tales of Basaria. Such a good one. I haven't played them. I should play them. I still have your copy. Yes, you do. You can have it. I don't <laughs> want that. Um. I need cool. to play. It. I need to try it, but yeah, I, I'm not. I play I, it. I tried the other ones. So like I played Tales of Zisteria. No. No. Just Berseria, a big old for, no. So, for some reason, the first that Basaria just like the for that first just hour hooked me instantly, and I just kept playing it. I thought it was so cool. I need to try them. I, I'm in the mood to... Um, Just try Berseria. I'm in the mood to try and finish up games before March hits. Mm-hmm. Once March hits, it's game over. It's hard to go back to the old ones, though, because I've heard there's some of the old ones are really good. Like uh, Exilia and Symphonia. I've heard are I've heard of super, Symphonia. So I've heard Symphonia is super good. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Alex, what you playing tonight? <sighs> As we wind down the show, we I was debating on trying Civs like you when I downloaded it because I don't know how long that's gonna take me to actually get into. So I'll go give it a bit. Uh, the games, uh, if you're not messing with any of the speeds, because you can make them super fast or super long. I just um, want standard game will last yeah. up to, to about ten hours. Jesus, it can. You can it, shorter or longer depending on how long it takes you to beat okay. it. Okay. Uh, I think mine generally lasts six hours, seven yeah. hours, something like that. I'm probably gonna try that. If I don't get into it, probably play some Plague's Tale. Plague's Tale, or I mean, I've been I've been feeling the Switch, but I, mm. and I'm always handheld it, so I I docked it, and I'm actually feeling the docking right now. 
You feel darkened? I feel darkened. You feel darkened? Yeah. So I feel darkened too. I feel worry. darkened. So I actually uh, might play some Pokemon. There you go. Yeah. I love Pokemon. So yeah. I, I got back on just to grab that Slowpoke and I grabbed yeah. them. I'm, I'm uh, just prepping for that expansion pass stuff. Yeah. I'll probably buy it when it comes out. It, nothing happened yet. So yeah. I'll probably buy it when it actually like, comes, yeah. comes out. Um, I started Grease. How's that? The art style is really cool. I think it's an art game. Yeah, it, it's, it, it's like it, it looks, the art style art is really like. cool. Um, there's certain parts you're like, uh, you think it's like the background or abstract type of stuff, and but it's an actual platform. I'm like, whoa, that's I was not expecting that. I was like, that's cool. I'm um, probably going to go back to Sekiro, try to clean that up. Like I said, I'm trying to finish yeah. some games that I didn't finish the last year before, again, like, March, because March will eat me alive. Maybe I should go play Horizon. <sighs> I have dead 20 hours of Death Stranding. Maybe I should go finish that. I don't I, know. I, I do want to give Death Stranding a second shake. I do not think it will How far me. are you in again? How many hours have you put into it? An hour? Two hours? I don't know how long. No, I... no. Um, you put more than that. Five you? to nine. I think I was five on the... Nine? I think I was on nine hours, I think. So do what I did and make... Or do what... Or just don't... Them, just don't them. Yeah, don't do what I did at first. Yeah. And just do the straight just main missions. To beat the game. Just, yeah. Just do the main missions because that helps so much. I That's why I only... That's why I have 20 hours in the game. And I feel like I'm in nowhere, like, in the story. Mm-hmm. But Apparently it gets super good. Yeah, I've heard people that have been too. saying that, and it's one of those things where I'm like, I kind of like get get like squinty at him. Like, does it though? I or? put it on the easiest difficulty just so I can get past it. Just so I, because I just want to play for the story. I'm like, not trying to be, get, make competitive. So, like, like well, what's the difficulty? I don't know. I mean, like, I put it, it on the easiest, and the and I still get I still get an anxiety <laughs> attack when I get close to BTS. So, apparently, by the way, the. It's not your proximity to them, but it's if you make noise. When yeah, you no, make, yeah. I didn't know that. No, you, yeah, you, you can them, literally. No, yeah, literally, you can be this close to me, and as long as you're quiet, you're fine. Because I was this close to them, and I threw one of those little pea grenade things, <laughs> and he's like, ah, "Of course," and he's like, freaking out. Because like, like you can get there's a doll. there's a trophy to where you can get so close to him, and you can cut an umbilical cord without him noticing. And I was like, "What does that even mean?" I, I'm assuming later on you get another tool or something because I've been, I've gotten this to a point where there's wild. there's more things that you can use now. So, it's, so it's, I feel like it's gonna get better now because I have more things to use. It's not just grenades; I have more stuff now. Not so, just pea grenades. Yeah, other kind of pea grenades. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, that too. I have a pea water shooter. Shoots a little pea, like 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 a like a super soaker. It's like <laughs> you gotta you, you gotta prime it. Yeah, pump it. Come on, shoot him, and, shoot and him. you keep priming it, but the end, and then you feel it like getting too tight. <laughs> so you can't prime it anymore. So you gotta let it go, and it has like that burst. Like the <laughs> it can't contain the pressure, so it has to like release some. That's my how my flat my bladder feels after a movie, and I eat, drink so much coke. I'm like, move. Mm-hmm. You gotta get you gotta get it done. Yep. Alex, I wanted to thank the audience for listening to our show. Thank thank you. Audience. We don't say this enough. We really appreciate you listening every week, coming back, giving us the support. Again, head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us the dollar to help us out and that keeps us supporting. Uh, that keeps us uh, financially invested in this um, to kind of helps us uh, uh, get the big O. It keeps, us, that? it keeps us afloat on that door just like it did to Rose. <sighs> just like Titanic, you can keep us afloat. Um, <laughs> don't turn us into Titanic. <laughs> um, I don't want to die in the cold, cold <laughs> icy river. I'm gonna of kick the you Pacific. off the door. Don't, don't please. I'll hold so you though. Cold. I won't let go. <laughs> There's plenty of space, obviously. Why yeah. isn't that? Like they could have cut that door in half. And then you can sell it. <laughs> were they, were they gonna find a gr- uh, like a, a cutting saw to cut the no, door? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, the, like the prop guy. Oh Should yeah! Have cut the door in half. Yeah, just make it look like, like it, straight up in half yeah. to make it look like there's not room. But instead, I don't know, man. We digress. We'll 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 complain about uh, Titanic some other time. But again, every Friday, head over to your favorite podcast service or YouTube. Give us the likes. Give us the five stars. Give us the subscription. Give us the time on YouTube. It helps us out a lot. We're still babies. We're still little baby podcasts, and we need help. We need all the five stars and the reviews that we can get. Thank you guys so much for listening. You guys have a great rest of your week. Look forward to those twenty twenty games. Give us a heads up. What do you think you, uh, you're getting for twenty twenty? Um, sign off in the comments. Tweet at us at evm nine thousand at crazy slip scary for Alex. Um give us your 2020 recommendations maybe there's something we're missing mm-hmm. similar to man eater alex found a really cool game for this year god i'm um, excited so for if that you guys game. have any hidden gems that we didn't talk about give and us if, a heads up yeah, and if there's any games that you guys have played and you think it's cool you want us to check it out or give us a want us to try it because usually i can't find anything to play or interest me at the moment 
yeah, get, yeah. tell us and we'll check it out. In the famous words of President Obama and probably every president, all options are on the table. All options. Y'all have a good day.